Hello, Boys and Girls Club members, future Boys and Girls Club members, friends and family members. We hope that you are still enjoying our virtual programming while you're away from the Boys and Girls Club. If you are not yet a member of the Boys and Girls Club, we hope that you join us very soon. Please continue to be active and safe while having fun. Today, we will continue our focus on maintaining self-confidence in the face of criticism, teasing and bullying from others as we are dealing with bullying as a target or bystander. This is part two. Now the purpose of this activity is to again help you with discovering the motive behind bullying. The material you will need for this activity today will be two sheets of lime paper or notebook paper a number two pencil. We will proceed with this activity by you first gathering up quickly those materials we just mentioned, which you should be able to find rather easily. I'll give you a moment. Now that you have your material, let's get started by writing on one sheet of paper, normal conflict. Just write that on the top of one of those sheets. And on the other paper, the top, write bullying. So at the top of one, you'll write normal conflict. In the other one, at the top, you'll write bullying. Now, conflict is normal, would you say? Okay, I agree. Do you know the difference between normal conflict and bullying? Do you think being different could ever turn into a bullying situation. In this activity, we are going to separate, give you examples of situations, the difference between normal conflict and bullying. After I read each of the statements on the board, I want you to place a letter on the sheet that that situation represents. Okay? For example, if I said it happens only once, the letter A you'll put on the sheet that says normal conflict, or you'll put the letter A on the sheet that you have that says bullying. All right. So, real quick A, it happens only occasionally. B, the aggressor does not try to resolve the problem in a peaceful manner. C, it is not planned out. It happens in the heat of the moment. D, it happens all the time. E, both parties try to work it out peacefully. And F, the person to which is the conflict is dealt is very upset while the other person is not. G, the person is trying, I'm sorry, one person is trying to be in control of the other. G, both parties are at fault. And the one that you cannot see is letter I. And I says, one person jokes in order to hurt or anger the other person. All right, so let's quickly debrief. All right, have you found yourself playing one of the roles? And what role have you played? What are the new roles you will be playing? What are some of the things you would do in response to now you know an example of bullying and now you know the example of normal conflict? Just so you know, we're going to give you the answer. So this should have been normal, bullying, normal, bullying, normal, bullying, bullying, normal, and the last one you don't see on the board should be bullying. 
As always, we ask that you please send your friends and family members to our website. Stroll down, click on virtual programming, and enjoy. Once again, if you are not a member of the Boys and Girls Club, we please ask you to join. If you have Facebook, we ask that you post your responses to today's activity. We would love to read them, see them, and hear from you. We hope to see you very soon, our current Boys and Girls Club members and our future Boys and Girls Club members. East Columbus Boys and Girls Club.